Hello and good morning to all my dear students. I welcome you in the class of Accounts Standard 11. Hope you all are fine and safe at your home. And even you are studying well through your e-classes. So, my dear students, in my today's e-class, I am going to start with the second part of your accounts textbook. From that, we will start the new chapter, chapter number 3, and the name is Provisions and Reserves. This is completely a theoretical chapter, but very important to be understood. So, let us begin with chapter number 3, Provisions and Reserves. This is the chapter in your textbook that is Provisions and Reserves. First, Introduction. Certain accounting concepts, principles and conventions are followed while recording business transactions in the books of accounts and preparing final accounts. Going concern is the basic assumption among these accounting concepts, principles and conventions. As per this assumption, it is assumed that the existence of the firm will be continued for a considerable long period and the firm will not be dissolved within near future or business transactions will not be curtailed considerably. Now, this is one of the principle. Going concern concept bolte hain isko. Now, going concern concept mein yehi hamara assumption hota hai ki hamara jo bhi business hai wo lambe samay tak kya hota rahega, flourish hota rahega, chalta rahega, uska astitwa bohot lambe samay ke liye rahega, wo near future mein aake business hamara band hoga nahi. To continue the existence of the firm, it is quite essential that financial position of the firm must be very sound. Yes, this is very but obvious. To have the continuation of the firm, the financial position of the firm or the business should be very strong enough, should be very sound. For this purpose, some amount of profit is appropriated and transferred to reserve so that the firm can exist even in adverse situation and can grow also. Now, this is what they want to teach through this chapter. In, in the year when firm or the business earns its profit, out of that profit some amount has to be kept aside for our adverse situations. Kya hoga? Agar hamare saal mein profit hume mila hai, wo profit mein se har baar thoda sa hissa hum agar sambhal kar rakte jayenge, hum reserve create karte jayenge, to agar hamara adverse situation hoga, to hum kya kar sakenge? Hum us peso ko utilize karke, hum us situation se apne aap ko bacha sakenge. To fulfill this objective, the principle of prudence is also followed in accounts. Now, this is also the another principle which has been followed in accounts. As per this principle, a part of profit of business is kept aside and transferred to provision in advance to protect the business from future probable expenses or losses. So, this prudence concept says that each and every year, whensoever the firm or the business is having its profit, out of those profits, some part of the profit should be kept aside and to be transferred to provisions for uncertainties of future. What can be the uncertainties? The adverse circumstances. Agar hume expenses bear karne padhe ya losses bear karne padhe to wo provisions mein se hum paisa utha kar utilize kar sakte hain thus reserves and provisions enhance long term financial soundness of business and protects the business against contingencies now these reserves and provisions enhance enhance matlab add up karte hain hamare business ko zinda rakhte hain hamare business mein agar losses हो रहे हैं कोई साल के लिए और हमने अगर पहले से ही प्रॉफिट के हिस्से में से थोड़ा थोड़ा रिजर्व्स एंड प्रोविजंस मेंटेन करके रखा है तो हमारा फाइनेंशियल पोजीशन साउंड रहेगा 
और हमारा बिजनेस कंटिजेंसीज में से अपने आप को बचा सकेगा नाउ व्हाट आर कंटिजेंसीज मे और मे नॉट हैपन ऐसा हम बिजनेस को रन करते हैं विद द मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ अर्निंग प्रॉफिट प्रॉफिट हमारा मेन एम टारगेट गोल होता है बट ड्यू टू सम और अदर रीजन अगर फॉर्म को बिजनेस को लॉस बेयर करना पड़ता है तो अगर हमने पहले से ही हमारे रिजर्व एंड प्रोविजन को मेंटेन करके रखा होगा तो हम इस एडवर्स कंडीशन से अपने आप को प्रोटेक्ट कर सकेंगे नाउ लेट एस गो थ्रू विद द मीनिंग एंड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ प्रोविजन सो ऑन द स्क्रीन यू कैन सी आई हैव डिस्प्लेड यू द मीनिंग ऑफ प्रोविजन प्रोविजन मीन्स एन अमाउंट appropriated from profit to honor probable liabilities which can be identified but the amount of which cannot be ascertained accurately now provisions kya hote hain provisions are the set amount which are against your liabilities liabilities ko face karne ke liye profits mein se alag se nikal ke rakha jane wala jo paisa hai that is your provision liabilities those liabilities which can be identified but the amount of which cannot be ascertained accurately liability kaun si hogi wo hum tay kar sakte hain wo hum jaan sakte hain par kitne ki hame problem padhegi what will be the amount cannot be decided so nicely what are the examples of provisions these examples may be asked along with definition so please do consider very nicely provision for depreciation provision for bad debts provision for repairs and renewals provision for taxation provident fund pension fund workers profit sharing fund provision for voluntary retirement scheme etc all these are the examples of your provision thus provision is different from liability amount of liability is fixed and it is sure to pay while provision is an amount appropriated from profit for probable expenses or losses for which the amount cannot be ascertained accurately now what is its accounting entry आप यहां पर देख सकते हैं ये सारे आपके क्या हैं प्रोविजन हैं बेड डेट रिजर्व है दो द नेम इज रिजर्व डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज बिटवीन दिस एग्जाम्पल दिस इज बेड डेट रिजर्व बट इट कम्स अंडर दैडिंग ऑफ प्रोविजन बिकॉज ये हमारा लाइबिलिटी है बेड डेट्स नहीं मिलने वाला provision for depreciation provision for taxation ye sab ke liye humne paisa aside rakha hai out of what out of profit and losses profit hame hua hai us profit mein se jab hum apna paisa provisions mein lagate hain to but obvious hai ki hamara profit utne se kya ho jayega reduce ho jayega utne se agar hamara profit reduce ho jayega iske liye hamara aap dekh sakte hain entry mein प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट को हमने क्या किया है डेबिट किया है वेन सो एवर द बिजनेस अर्न प्रॉफिट इन दैट पर्टिकुलर इयर प्रोविजन एंड रिजर्व आर टू बी कैप्ट असाइड फॉर मीटिंग कंटिजेंसी फॉर मीटिंग वर्स्ट सिचुएशन सो उस टाइम पे हम वो पैसे को क्या कर सकते हैं यूटिलाईज कर सकते हैं हमने उस प्रॉफिट में से जितना भी प्रोविजन के लिए पैसा साइड में रखा है उतने से हमारा प्रॉफिट कम हो जाता है दैट्स वाई यू कैन सी प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट को हमने क्या किया है डेबिट किया है ओके सो मूविंग फर्दर व्हाट आर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ प्रोविजन provision is an amount appropriated from profit or income for specific purpose us specific purpose ke liye hame jo paisa profit mein se side mein rakhna hota hai that is your provision provision is an amount appropriated from profit for what for probable expenses or losses or liabilities which 
for which the amount cannot be determined accurately. Provision is appropriated out of profit and loss account. Profit and loss account में से हम क्या बनाते हैं? Provisions create करते हैं. I hope you all are understanding. Please concentrate in the video. So these were the characteristics of provision. Now importance of provision. Provision is made for probable expense, loss and liability of respective year and therefore it is appropriated out of the revenue that is income of the same year and hence true profit and loss of the business can be ascertained. Provision is made to prevent impact of transactions made during the year on financial performance in future. Provision hum kis ke liye banate hain? Transaction ke oopar parne wala jo impact hota hai uske liye for our better performance in the future hum provisions ko create karte hain. Known liability of future can be spread evenly over certain years by making provision. Assumption of going concern and principle of prudence can be followed by making provisions. These both principles I have taught you in the setting of the video. If provision is not made against decrease in the value of asset in the future, the capital of the business may be wiped off. Such risk can be avoided by making provision. हर साल हमारा असेट का वैल्यू डेप्रिशिएट होता है उसके लिए भी हमें प्रोविजन फॉर डेप्रिशिएशन जैसे एग्जांपल में था वो क्रिएट करना ही होता है सो दैट वी आर इनफ विद कैपिटल रिक्वायर्ड फंड्स कैन बी मैनेज्ड बाय मेकिंग प्रोविजंस ऑफ सर्टेन अमाउंट एवरी ईयर आउट ऑफ प्रॉफिट प्रॉफिट में से असर्टेन किया जाने वाला जो भी हमारा प्रोविजन है उससे हम बहुत अच्छे से हमारे फंड्स को भी मैनेज कर सकेंगे ऑन द एक्सपायरी ऑफ द यूजफुल लाइफ ऑफ एन एसेट द मैनेज्ड फंड्स कैन बी यूज्ड टू परचेस द न्यू एसेट्स उस साइड में जो हमने पैसा रखा है द अमाउंट व्हिच वी हैव सेट असाइड आउट ऑफ द प्रॉफिट्स फ्रॉम दैट अमाउंट वी कैन परचेस द न्यू एसेट फॉर द business so this was all about the provision i hope you all are understanding very nicely now moving further to the new topic that is meaning characteristics and importance of reserve now don't get confused between what are provisions and what are reserves an amount appropriated out of profit to increase the financial soundness of the business or to meet with contingent loss or liability in the future is called reserve reserve kya hai profit me se paiso ko side me rakha jata hai for our इंक्रीजिंग फाइनेंशियल पोजीशन हमारे फाइनेंशियल साउंडनेस को बढ़ाने के लिए या मे और मे नॉट हैपन द लॉसेस वैसे वाले लायबिलिटीज जो फ्यूचर में हमें प्रॉब्लम करेंगी वो सारी सिचुएशंस को मीट करने के लिए हम रिजर्व क्रिएट करते हैं रिजर्व इज एन एप्रोप्रिएशन एंड इट इज क्रेडिटेड आउट ऑफ प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस एप्रोप्रिएशन account this is the account which practically you are going to learn in your 12th standard reserve may be for a specific purpose or for solvency of the business say for example general reserve dividend equalization fund workers accident compensation fund debenture redemption fund investment fluctuation reserves capital redemption reserves etc now what are its characteristics Reserve is created for financial soundness of the business. Business ki financial position ko strong karne ke liye, usse sound banane ke liye hum reserves ko create karte hain. For growth of the business, business ko agar apan ko expand karna hai, to bhi hume reserves kaam mein aayenge. Or to meet with contingent requirements of the business. Kis mein se ye create kiya jata hai? It is created out of P&L appropriation account. Certain reserves are created to meet with statutory requirements, standing requirements on the spot. जिसकी हमें जरूरत पड़ती है, तो हम reserves का utilization कर सकते हैं. What is its importance? Required funds for expansion of the business is available from profit. 
of business only and hence there is no need to borrow funds from outside or proprietor does not require to contribute more capital for growth and expansion of the business yes business ko expand karna har ek ka ek cha hota hai so for meeting those expansions and growth of the business humne agar reserves create karke rakhe hain to hum hamare business ka expansion and growth usi reserve ka utilization karke kar sakte hain for what the owner or the proprietor has not to borrow the borrowed funds financial solvency of the business increases solvency ratio solvency means hamari assets zyada in comparison to liabilities उसको स्ट्रॉन्ग बनाता है इंक्रीजेस बाय ट्रांसफरिंग सम अमाउंट आउट ऑफ द प्रॉफिट टू दी रिजर्व्स अनसर्टेन और कंटीजेंट एक्सपेंसेस और लॉसेस कैन बी मेट इफ देयर इज सफिशिएंट रिजर्व इन द बिजनेस हम अनसर्टेन अनसर्टेन मींस जो फ्यूचर हमारा है आवर फ्यूचर इज अनसर्टेन उन अनसर्टेनिटीज को मीट करने के लिए हमारी अगर फ्यूचर में सिचुएशन खराब हो जाती है उस सिचुएशन को बेयर करने के लिए हम पहले ही जिस साल हमें प्रॉफिट मिला है अगर उस प्रॉफिट में से हमने पैसों को साइड में रख दिया है तो वो बुरा सिचुएशन भी हमें इतना अफेक्ट बिजनेस को कर सकता नहीं है रिजर्व कैन बी यूज टू ऑनर लॉन्ग टर्म लाइबिलिटीज लॉन्ग टर्म लाइबिलिटीज की यूटिलाइजेशन के लिए हमें रिजर्व चाहिए कंपनी कैन मेनटेन डिविडेंट year after year by using reserves company saal ke baad saal saal ke baad saal mein kya kar sakti hai dividend declare kar sakti hai agar usne reserves maintain karke rakhe hain to it may be the situation ki jis saal company ko profit nahi bhi hua ho to bhi us position mein ho ki wo dividend declare kar sakti hai this is only just because of the reserves created reserves are created to fulfill some of the statutory requirements statutory requirements are the legal requirements that come from laws passed by the state government or the government okay so all of a sudden agar koi bhi law pass hota hai to uski requirements ko fulfill karne ke liye bhi hame paiso ki zarurat hoti hai to hum kya kar sakte hain reserves ka utilization kar sakte hain I hope you all have understood the topics covered in today's video that was provision and reserves meaning its meaning characteristics and importance please go through with your textbook once again thank you students and have a nice day